We're gonna be walking through how to upgrade a standard 20 amp breaker to a 20 amp GFI rated breaker. And the reason why you need to do this is for code compliance as well as safety. So in our case, this 20 amp right here is servicing our furnace. Our furnace is right next to the water heater. And so if a water leak happens in that room, uh, there's the potential for electrocution if there's no GFI in it. So that's what this gets you. These do cost a little bit extra, but it can potentially save someone's life. What we're gonna first do is I'm at a sub panel right now. So I'm gonna turn off the main panel breaker and then we're gonna be taking out the old one and putting in this new one. Uh, and these, you know, they're GFI rated if they have a little test button right here. And then on top of that, they have these little pigtails. Um, some of them actually have a little metal piece right here that clips directly onto the neutral bar. Um, but if you're not so lucky, uh, you're gonna have to also tie this pigtail into your neutral bar. We'll get this faceplate off. It's just four screws. And then um, we'll take a look at the inside. So we've got our two phases, A and B. So just checking, these guys are both uh, dead right now. Otherwise this thing would be beeping a lot. That's our neutral bar. So you can see the neutral comes in here, goes across either side. So both of these guys are your neutrals. Um, and then this breaker right here, this 20, is the one that we're going to be pulling out and just double checking. No uh, power is going to that one right now. So I'm going to first start by loosening the uh, flathead right here so we can take out this wire right here. We've removed the standard 20 amp breaker that used to be here and we have the hot wire that was coming uh, from right here. So when you plug in your GFI rated breaker or your AFCI rated breaker, you're going to first connect your pigtail to your neutral bar. Now the next step here is you need to trace this hot wire and see where it's coming in. So it's coming from this middle 20 amp Romex wire right here. So I'm gonna take this white wire and I'm gonna follow it down. And we're going to basically be taking this white wire and disconnecting it from our neutral bar and then connecting it to this lower silver screw on our breaker right here. And then what we're gonna be doing is putting the hot wire from that same circuit onto the brass colored top screws. So you've got two screws here, so you need to get this right. Silver screw is going to be where your neutral wire from that circuit's gonna plug into. And then the black wire, hot wire, is gonna be going into your brass screw on the top right here. And then once we do that, I'm going to clip this back down into the panel and then we'll turn it back on. So here's what it looks like before I connect this back into the sub panel. So again, neutral and hot wire from the same Romex, same circuit are going into this. So our white neutral wire goes in right here. Our black hot wire goes on the top brass one right here. I have tightened them down with a flathead and I'm just giving them a pull to make sure that they're nicely seated. And then the pigtail is going into the neutral wire for this circuit. So now uh, I'm going to basically be pushing these out of the way so I can push this back in. Here's the final view of what things look like before we put our plate back on. So pigtail attached and these guys also attached. 